I'm going to take Miss Barrett back to her apartment and check her out. Hello, huge movie fanatic Nate, stopping on by. Once again, coming at you with one of these short videos showcasing, uh, basically, I don't know, what, what was it? So, yeah, 30 plus year old uh, video store mini standy, uh, promotional mini standy for the movie, for the motion picture by the name of Ghostbusters, a little known film you may have heard of, you may not have. Uh, I got this, I don't know if it was maybe, uh, I think I think I talked about Ghostbusters on this channel in 2014 because they were going to do a, or they did do a, uh, I think they did a, <clears throat> a limited screening of it on a weekend or one day or something like that. So I think I, you know, obviously I had this thing in 2014. I'm not exactly sure when I got it, maybe 2013, 2014, I don't know. But I have featured this uh, little promotional mini standee on the channel before, but it's been you know a better part of a decade now. So I thought since I did some of these videos earlier this year, or earlier in the summer, showcasing you know promotional video store promotional mini standees and stuff, I would do uh, showcase this one once again and maybe a little more of an in depth. I don't remember how how in depth I showed that I showed this last time in that video when I showed it before or whatever. It might have just been sitting there while I was talking about whatever. Regardless, I'm doing this video now. So I got this at a mom and pop uh, video store, like I said, I don't know, 2013, 2014. It's this place that's kind of like a TV slash, you know, TV sales repair place slash video store. It's still there, uh, miraculously, even, even now. Um, it's one of the last places, or, you know, pretty much the last place I know I can go to to uh, actually walk in and actually get the, you know, the aroma. You can walk in there and go, and you can get that 80s video store uh, aroma smell into your lungs. And I have a mind to go in there with, uh, you know, jars and try to, you know, see if I can capture the aroma in jars and sell it to you guys, you know, 100 bucks a jar or whatever. Um, you know, I could have a sale price of, you know, 95 on, you know, certain days, 4th of July, sale price or whatever, Valentine's Day. But anyway, I'm, I'm all over the place. So this is the um, Ghostbusters promotional mini standee for the movie Ghostbusters. And um, I think I can remember, you know, back in the good old days in the 80s and stuff, one of these video stores that we, was one of the first video stores we rented from, Oh man, I wish I knew that, you know, these video stores were going to disappear. I would have taken pictures, you know, of, of the video stores to remember them. But this place, you know, just was just adorned, you know, had existed since, you know, probably video stores existed. Well, back when we used to frequent it, it was not too far into the video store, you know, uh, years or whatever. But what I'm saying is this one particular mom and pop video store was just adorned with like it was a museum. For like this kind of little promotional mini standy stuff that would just be up on top of shelves and just shoved in the corners, you know. And they made all different kinds of these in different shapes and sizes. Sometimes they made, you know, cardboard, you know, versions of VHS cases that were, you know, uh, you know, much larger than an actual VHS case. Like Paramount would make them um, with. You know, you could hang it from the ceiling, and on one side was a picture for promoting one title, and on the other side was a you know, picture promoting another title. I remember uh, they did this with uh, Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood, and Jack's, uh, Jack's Back, or whatever that movie is, with uh, that one guy who would go on to be in, is it James Spader, who would go on to be in Stargate, or whatever, but, um, so I remember... <clears throat> You know, there are all kinds of different, you know, promotional, uh, cardboard promotional materials that, you know, they uh, would print and stuff over the, you know, in the 80s and the video store era and stuff like that. And uh, oh, I can just, I, you know, when I look at this, what I was saying is, I think this was one of the, um, you know, I think that particular video store had this in addition to just a plethora of plethora of, uh, of others. I can remember, and it might be, you know, they might have put like, um, you know, the, the kind of like if there's a horror section, maybe they put the horror, you know, stuff on the top of the shelf, comedy, comedy, but I can remember, uh, I've never seen the movie, but if you've ever seen the, if you're old enough to have been in like video stores and, you know, mom and pop video stores in the 80s or 90s, 
I can remember there was like something like this uh, little promotional standee or something for the the movie Company of Wolves, and I that 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 poster, you know, like the cover art, always kind of creeped me out. Where it's some person, a profile of someone, like ah, and there's like a wolf snout coming out of their mouth, and it's just like oh my god. But uh, so anyway, I'm all over the place. <clears throat> Let me showcase this and give you a little better look at it. Um, this, if we want to turn it this way, I'll showcase exactly how this works. It's kind of, it's not quite as 3D as some of the other ones, but as you can see, this here, this Ghostbusters with the credits and stuff, if you look at it this way, it is, of course, slanted like, slanted like that. And you can kind of see right here the little bit of half ass 3D they're trying to do with the, the clouds. And then, you know, this kind of, it doesn't, it doesn't really hook, stay hooked. You're going to have to tape it or something. This, this is supposed to go down and stay down so that way the clouds in the background, you can see right here probably, the clouds in the background are supposed to be a little further back so it makes the, this, uh, the building tip looks like it's coming forward and the clouds in the background are further back. But uh, not, not a whole hell of a lot of, you know, 3D-ishness to this. Just enough to get the top of the building to look like it's actually, you know, the clouds in the background are further uh, away in the background. But just like some of the other ones I've already showcased, like the Rambo First Blood Part 2 one, you've got this, this way of doing that. And this and that, and that's the basic, basic gist of it like that and I'm gonna actually to get to give you a better uh, idea of it and to show you it better I'll, I'll do a digital still photo of the thing so you can really see all this stuff um, down here but once again this thing's so old that it's got VHS hi-fi stereo on this side and then beta hi-fi stereo on that side so we've got a date here artwork and design 1985 RCA Columbia Pictures home video all rights reserved printed in the USA then we got over here a copyright 1984 Columbia Pictures Industries Incorporated all rights reserved that's of course the copyright for the release of the movie and the 85 I would imagine was the copyright for this particular promotional uh, piece of material or when the movie came out uh, and or when the movie came out on, on home video, but uh, yeah, kind of cool. I don't know, you know, if, if something like this is worth anything or anything like that or whatever, but regardless, I mean, I don't think I'd necessarily sell it anyway unless I could, you know, buy a house with the, you know, the funds that I'd get for it, but um, thought I'd stop on by and, and share this with you. Well, as I said, I you know I have showcased it way back in 2014, but a lot of you guys probably haven't been you know with the channel that long and may not have seen it back then. Plus, as I said, since I've already done some videos showcasing these items this year, I thought it only made sense to do it uh, with this item. Got a little bit of a reflection, but I guess that'll pretty much do it as I kind of blabbed and blabbed and blabbed about all kinds of other different stuff. But, you know, I mean, you guys are probably interested in, you know, my my video store mom and pop history and stuff from the 80s or whatever. And if not, oh well, you know, it's not the biggest deal in the world or the longest video in the world. So I guess that'll pretty much do it. Thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.